uh, 35 degrees out, 40 degrees. Real nice one to say a baseball hat around. Get these tip ups going. Should I stick the GoPro down there? Should I, should I stick the GoPro down there? A lot of slush back there, but and a lot of snow lately. It's been uh, pretty warm. So ice is thick, at least 18 inches. And uh, in spots though, over there is about six inches. So. Have to be careful. It's very quite you, a bit. You take your hand out. stuff right there without the seats. You not even get the shanty going. It's pretty warm out here today. Yeah. Really no need for it. It'd be nice to sit out and relax. So, pretty, pretty and so we'll show you how we set up these tip-ups. So do you want to explain our rig? We got, we got three number four sinkers right there. So number eight to number ten uh, split shot on foot, foot and a half down. Pretty simple. Yep. Just gonna put a blue middle here, ball in middle. And what pound uh, test is the leader? The leader is 12 pound floor parts. Can I go right to this black line? Because you'll see that pretty easily. I got about three pounds of leader on here. Let's stick this inside the middle bucket. I'm not fishing we have back home. No, we have a little bit, like an inch. <laughs> yeah. And then we've had some of the fourth week in the room up here. Yeah, he comes up here every week mainly for snowmobiling. Yeah, we'll probably get some footage of the sleds. The only reason I'm out here uh, fishing is I actually didn't lose as much snow as I thought they lost up here. Yeah, how much, how many inches of snow would you say you have? On the ground right now? Yeah. Anywhere from, I would say, 20 inches to 30 inches, depending on where you're at. There we go. Yep. In case any of you guys are wondering who Alex is, he's my cousin, and he makes a lot of these videos possible. Um, the up north trip last year, that was with him, and all the footage from the boats is with him. So what we're doing is we're staggering these tip-ups. I don't know if you can see the one over there, but we're staggering them, and I'm going to be drilling the next one, and you can get me on film doing that. Pretty much anywhere from, it should be about, uh, according to Navicontics, so it's about 20 there. And where our shanty is, only about 14. So we should be covering a good, good uh, variance of uh, that. Yeah, we'll come back on side to my hole. Basically, the, this auger setup, uh, it's better. I have a gas auger, but I actually like this better. It's a six-inch Eskimo hand auger with the drill adapter, the plate, so the, the auger can't fall through if it gets loose. We got a rigid hammer drill, and uh, this thing, I've drilled over 40 holes with one single battery before, through eight inches of ice. So this thing, much, I like a lot better than gas. It's a lot quieter, very efficient, very, very efficient. It's the same model, but I don't have the drill for it. I'll probably be getting a drill next to it because it is much easier. It's, it's a lot better. It's, it's, yeah. it's nice and quiet, too. The gas so auger is real loud. I don't want to explain why you have this the end while it's happening to your wrist. Yeah, I almost broke my wrist a few years ago. Uh, they caught, they caught an ice chunk with the, with the, with the, with the, uh, drill and it snaps your wrist real hard there's been numerous wrist uh, breaking you hear about it in Lake St. Clair all the time so yeah. you gotta have this gotta have the hand I learned that pretty quick yeah. 
All right, we're gonna get this last set of, uh, tip up set up. We got one, then we got three down there. So they're all staggered. They said anywhere from 20 plus feet to about 14 feet of water. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. All right, we're gonna set our shanty up over here. I think we're gonna try for some courage. We got we got four tip ups out there. We're gonna get a, we're gonna do two holes side by side. Because in the state of Michigan, you can have two tip ups. I mean, four tip ups and two rods. So the laws in the state of Michigan say what? Four tip ups? No, it's, it's three rods per person. So we have two people, so we can each have two tip ups playing. I want to stop recording now while we get set up. Alright, guys, so we're moving because this spot sucks. We saw a couple perch, but caught nothing. Some flower seeds all over the place. And tip ups up? Setting up at our new location. There's a good amount of people out here. Some guys over there, in the north end, I believe. Where we came from is just back there. There's a couple of snowmobiles out here. We decided not to take them out because it's super slushy. Well, actually, no. Parts of it are super slushy. Parts of it, are, parts of it are just ice. And if we brought out the snowmobiles, we would just be riding. We wouldn't be actually fishing. So. I'll show you the setup that we've got in here. How we're fishing in here. I'll show you the two holes. So it's two holes. So technically it's four holes. Two side by side right here. Two side by side right there. This is where Alex is. This is where I'm at. But it's nice. It's warm. About 35 degrees. Yeah, it's really, really comfortable. Don't need gloves. Um, no tip-ups yet. But, so we're going to get back to fishing. Uh, hopefully we'll catch some stuff. Give us an update. Try one last spot. One last spot over there. And see how so we do. describe ice fishing today in one word. Sucks. Yep, we got nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> <laughs>